so uh, I think more we advance toward a more democratic Afghanistan, more our kids goes to school. I mentioned to you when we came to Kabul in the end of 2001, <coughs> the girls who by who had eight years or nine years old now are 20 or 21 years old. You know, they have access, as you mentioned, to the internet, to the Facebook, Twitter. They have have 36 channel of television that they are watching every night. They have access to very free media that you have seen yourself. So in over 65% of the Afghan population today are younger than 25 years old. So this very important social force for the future of Afghanistan. And we're going, going to build Afghanistan with this youngster, not the old one. A very wise person in Kabul once said to me that the Afghan people are entrepreneurs of misfortune and that they are able to turn um, crisis into um, stability and uh, national identity, but that they would love to have the chance to be entrepreneurs of a growing economy. Uh, is this generation the generation that you believe will emerge for the first time in 30 years from war? Definitely. Definitely. You know, uh, 11 years is not a long, long time in the history of the country. Uh, and you said yourself that the Afghanistan of 2000, if you compare Afghanistan of 2000 to Afghanistan of 2013, you cannot compare it. And, and, and you mentioned yourself that there was no girl in school, that women were not considered a human being in Afghanistan, that uh, all the achievement that you have made <coughs> is within 12 years. And 12 years is not a long time in a country that came from ground zero, you know. As, so that will give us a hope that uh, with more security, uh, a, a successful peace process, a, a sincere cooperation of our neighbors and the peace in Afghanistan, Afghanistan has this opportunity to come out one of the uh, hub in Asia and Central Asia of, of democracy, uh, peace and progress.